The state attorney general's office released its report on the death of Simron Gordon this afternoon. In October last year, Rochester police were called to a family dollar for a man trying to rob the store, that man being Gordon. A short chase and a shootout ensued, and an officer ended up killing Gordon. Christian Garzon joins us now in studio with the latest. Christian. Well, Adam, the Office of Special Investigation said they did a comprehensive review of all the body-worn cameras in this shootout, along with all the surveillance video and multiple interviews with witnesses. OSI said the officer who shot Gordon was justified in this instance, saying this could not be challenged in court. Just a warning, some of the video may be tough to watch. OSI said on October 6th last year, Gordon entered the West Main Street family dollar and walked behind the counter showing a Glock pistol to employees and then demanded money. Some of that money was in a safe and took time to open. While waiting, an employee called 911 and two RPD officers responded. Some of that money was in a safe and took time to open. While waiting, an employee called 911 and two RPD officers responded. Gordon ran down aisles as police entered, with Gordon firing at police. An officer fired back, striking Gordon, with Gordon falling to the floor, the gun still in his hand. He then raised the gun, prompting police to fire another shot. Paramedics arrived on scene and pronounced Gordon dead. OSI said the investigation showed Gordon fired first and later threatened police by raising his gun. With that, they said police were justified in this response. Gordon's lawyer today released a statement saying in part they are disappointed with the OSI report and they will continue to seek justice for Simran and pursue all legal courses of action on his and his family's behalf, including potential civil liability and excessive force claims. Now, Gordon was believed to be involved in three local murders, according to police. Something his family disputed, and this was not considered during the investigation. Adam, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We do have the complete statement from Gordon's lawyer with this story right now over at rochesterfirst.com.